this exclusive Angel Warrior TV special, I, Johnny Kais, have a wonderful opportunity to update the world and reintroduce the epic symphonic metal band, heard and recognized from as far as the Eastern Bloc. Not even Dravlocks can crown these angel warriors. And here to discuss with me is Anemometer Windover, Irish Scotsman Steve, and Seb's Fox. Johnny has been a while, man. Uh, take care of this. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Really nice to see you. So, what is the history between you and the band? Uh, um, basically, uh, I met them when we were battling in Existines. Existines? That's right. Yes, it's a transdimensional realm. You might be familiar with it, whether you know it or not. And uh, the band got together there and uh, we thrashed it out against the Travlogs and the Evil Lord Dark Lord. We were successful, of course. Remember that? What band are you talking about? He's saying band. The, the thing is, what happened before the New Era tour, as many of you fans know, we went through so many different changes during the Revolution era with uh, Molten Rock. Uh, he's out of the band, and we had to get some uh, new recruits like Scarab by Gore came in. And uh, throughout our, our tour, uh, unfortunately, a lot of these guys couldn't be a part of the shows at the Fletcher's Odd. So I called up the Irish Scotsman and the Animometer Windover, and uh, we really revolutionized the world here in Brampton. Dude, that's where you're wrong. I don't even have a phone. Okay, next question. So, there has been no mention of Dreadlocks. I want. For okay. New viewers. Seriously, I, I sorry, Johnny, Johnny, uh, Johnny. I got, I got to cut you off. Question. <laughs> you need to calm down. It no, it, it it's, I'm it's the, I'm the Oprah Winfrey. No, but when it comes to the draft locks, we have a, a huge history, and I am very not comfortable, and I want to get my points across quickly because these guys really frustrate me. See, the thing is. Sorry, let, let, him, let him finish the question. I, I apologize, Johnny. You know we go way back, he, he, and, and you know I do that yeah, quite often. You're still disrespecting me. I'm going to let... Uh, sorry, well, sorry. What well, I would like to say, if Sebs could you know, step out of the limelight for a moment, is, uh, you know, he and I have never really seen eye to eye on this most recent tour. Uh, he oh, is significantly... I, I, I'm sensing a bit of tension between oh, these guys. This is awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> and he gets it. <laughs> Anemometer is seeing something. Well, I was saying oh, that we haven't seen eye to eye because you're tall, and you know when I look at you, it's usually around. Oh, so it's just because of height. Yeah, I, that I meant okay. nothing more than that. Remember, no way. Serious, serious so, stuff. Let's, let's not. So your point about the dreadlocks? Um, yeah, there's you know dreadlocks. We we uh, seen them on the battlefield, and uh, we've proven our metal against them. Um, the rumors are they're still around, and you know they could be lurking. Anywhere. Do you like that? Uh, it's kind of an uncomfortable. No one likes the draft locks. Yeah, that, exactly what Seb said. No, but uh, before he interjected like he does all, all the time, what <laughs> is your opinion? Uh, I think they have their own bands that are pretty impressive, too. You know. And what kind of band? They're not even human. Well, they're they're good-looking guys, you know. I mean, okay, the Irish Scotsman. I mean. Look, this is what's been happening. <clears throat> what? what? What exactly has been happening? Back in 1998, our band was formed for one reason. And one reason was to take out Dark Horror and the Drive Locks. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear me. You can hear, it's connected. Yeah? Okay. Anyway, and uh, we, myself, including Keith Blue Blazer Blades and Ty Molin, we went out there and we uh, took over Existience and, and we saved the people that are in the land of Existience. And ever since 1998, that battle, ever since that battle, uh, we've been here rocking the world. 
revolutionizing uh, this land that we call Earth. And lately, I mean, we just finished, again, such a success from the Era Tour, but lately, I, I actually, we just took a break from the tour. And I actually heard rumblings that the Lord Darkour Rumblings more Dude, than your uh, still exists. <laughs> Come on, I got rumblings in my stomach. Yeah, yeah pizza you promised me. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why you're here today. Like, how well, absurd is that? Okay, God, no, you guys are you guys aren't getting the point here. This is serious stuff. The evil Lord Darkour, I've been hearing, it still exists. But how is that okay. possible? Okay, I don't I don't know how he's possible. We rocked him to to his grave. We destroyed him. You guys joined Blue Blazer Blades, Ty Mullen, Seb Spock. You were there. Please call the office. Mr. Heavy, please call the office. Thank you. 